Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install Carbon ROM for OnePlus 8 Pro. Um, I wrote out the steps on our new forum, so just go ahead and follow along. We'll just go one by one. Um, so first, if you are starting from stock, you'll need to obviously unlock the bootloader. Uh, if you're using carrier branded uh, Pro, One Pro, such as T-Mobile, uh, Verizon, you can't unlock the bootloader, so just go s return it and get a international unlock model or just get the unlock model um, because those will allow you to actually root it if you have a t-mobile version there's uh you have to actually follow the t-mobile method of unlocking the bootloader so that's uh, I, don't, I don't that's why i don't buy those and i'm not gonna make a tutorial for it because i don't i didn't buy one but there's a bunch of tutorials you can google it um but hopefully you have a uh, unlock model those are the best they work uh flawless on 4g lt 5g bands on t-mobile and verizon um, if you buy the carrier branded versions, you actually lose dual SIM capability and um, It's just more headache. So do that uh, once you have unlocked the bootloader. You don't have to follow the root guide This guide if you want to just root it, that's fine um, You don't have to follow the root guide because you have to unlock the bootloader and we're just gonna need to flash twerp So you don't actually have to even root it. You just have to unlock the bootloader So unlock the bootloader first following my universal tutorial uh, which works for all the OnePlus, uh, all the standard Android phones. Um, next, go ahead and download uh, fastboot.zip. All right, all the download links are at the bottom here. Please wait here. And you'll say click here to download. All right. Um, you, can use, uh, you can use Mac or Linux to do this also. I have the tour. Um, I do have the files here. So once you download it, go ahead and double click and extract all. I have already extracted, and you get a folder called Fastboot. And if you're using uh, Mac or Linux, you just have to um, change the permission, chmod uh, 755 star, and then you guys know how to do the do the um, Linux or Mac, and you just put dot slash Fastboot dash Linux or dot slash Fastboot dash Mac. Uh, for Linux, if you're using like something like um, Ubuntu, you can do sudo uh, space Fastboot dash Linux. And then do it that. It's but the commands are pretty much the same. The CD commands are all the same. I'll update it with the uh, Linux and uh, Mac commands. If you guys absolutely need it, just just leave a reply. Then I'll update it in case I forget. Just leave a reply on this um, thread on this topic on my new forum here. Okay, download fastboot.zip, and you will need also need to download the twerp, right? And uh, once you download the twerp. And you will also need to download user data image. Now, because the twerp right now uh, is beta, so it won't actually allow you to wipe data. Now, this method involves deleting everything on your phone. That's the only way we can install a new custom ROM. Um, so just be aware, back up everything before you try to install this. Um, so go back up all your photos and stuff, and we're gonna pretty much reset the phone. That's the only way we're gonna be able to install it. So you should have downloaded the twerp and user data image. Do and um, go ahead and copy. Right click copy, go into your fast boot folder and go ahead and paste. All right, so I have that and this in the fast boot folder. Um, <clears throat> now you can use like platform tools and stuff. I just like doing it with my method because it's simpler. Um, but if you end up downloading other, other fast boot, then you're on your own. <laughs> but these commands are because some of you guys are not good at CD stuff, so this is just the exact commands you need to type. Um, next, you're going to go ahead and uh, put your phone uh, into download mode. I'm oh, sorry, fast boot mode. So you can go ahead and power off your phone. Power off your phone. And I believe it's, uh, was it power up? Yeah, power up. Uh, volume up. No, no, it's volume down. Press, press vo both volume up, volume down, and then press the power button. I think that's fast boot. Sorry, I'm getting some tank. Oh, there you go. You see that? So volume up, volume down, and also the power button when powered off. And you should see this screen. And then you're gonna go ahead and connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. All right, connect it there. All right, once connected, um, if you unlock the bootloader using my tutorial, you should already have uh, drivers installed, but you can go ahead and double check that. Go to start and type control panel and go to your hardware and sounds, double check that um, You'll have, uh, where is it? Universal ADB. There should be, an, oh, there we go, up at the top. Um, you'll see Android bootloader interface, something along um, ADB or Android bootloader interface. That should be good to go. 
If you don't see that, then you might have to install um, drivers. Just go ahead. And, if you follow, um, just go ahead and follow the 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 unlock Google loader guy, which has the drivers there. Um, okay, and next you're gonna go ahead and uh, open a command prompt. Type cmd after you hit uh, start, and you're gonna simply go ahead and type. You can copy and paste cd downloads. Hit enter. cd fastboot. Hit enter. And you're gonna go ahead and type fastboot space flash space recovery space a space twerp uh, blah 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 dot img or you can copy and paste it if you want to so this will flash to the slot a and you're gonna have to do it for slot b so hit the arrow up it'll fill it up for you and change that to b or you can copy and paste this will uh, basically uh install twerp and what you're gonna do let me go ahead and make this a little bigger sorry my, my main camera is all acting weird so i have to actually use my other camera um, so I apologize. I'll, I'll go ahead and fix that uh, eventually. And let me just get this. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm on this Logi, Logitech. Let me show you closer. And what you're going to do is go ahead and go to uh, use the volume keys and go to recovery mode just like that. And you're going to hit the power key. All right. Power Ooh. button. And this will get you into twerp recovery. Oh, whoops. I'm not supposed to do that. I'm an idiot. We're supposed to do one more step. Sorry. Um, <laughs> if you're just following this, I can show you how to get back to the fast boot from twerp recovery. But you see the twerp has been installed. Great. Um, you may have to enter your password. So go ahead and enter your password. And it should say successfully decrypted. And we're going to actually reboot back into uh, bootloader. Go to reboot. And we're going to go to bootloader. And this will boot you back into fastboot. Okay, you're back in fastboot. And let's go back here. Sorry, I made a made a mistake there. We're going to go ahead and follow this. Just follow my written tutorial. Uh, do as I wrote. Um, user data. And you're going to do user data image. Hit enter. I'm not going to do it because that's going to erase everything on my phone. <laughs> Just do that. This will erase everything on your phone. And once you have done that, uh, we'll go back to twerp using the keys, volume keys. Uh, make sure it's on recovery mode at the top and hit the power button. Hit the power button. Okay, let me go ahead and... Ah. All right, if you successfully decrypt it, you're good to go. Um, now you're going to go ahead and download the ROM. Go ahead and download the ROM and also the GApps. All right, go ahead and download that. Um, you can actually download, just, just download this here. Uh, where is it? Oh, I didn't put the ROM here. Okay. I'll put the ROM and GApps link here, but you can download also at XDA. Uh, you can go to download here and, oops, sorry. <laughs> go, go here. I'll, um, just go ahead and go here and go follow the download link and download the latest version, which is this one, which is what I installed. Um, I'll download that and then also go ahead and download open GApps, uh, the Pico version. Uh, you're going to go ahead and choose ARM64, 10.0, and Pico. Go ahead and download. That will download the Pico, and also go ahead and download this. And if you check your downloads folder, you should have uh, open GApps right there. I'm, I'm double downloading here. And go ahead and download those two. Now, you're going to go ahead and copy this over to your phone, and it should connect as a disk drive. All right, and I'm going to go into my download folder, and I'm going to go ahead and paste. Now, if for some reason, sometimes um, this can happen where your phone doesn't connect as a disk drive, then you can use ADB commands to copy files over. I do have instructions on that. If you end up with that kind of problem because of Windows drivers, let me know and I'll post a link to the instructions um, on, my, on my forum. So when that's done, 
Somebody's calling me. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and go into... You don't have to do any data wipe because we already wiped it using the fastboot command. So this is sort of a workaround using the uh, tour um, using the fastboot right now because it's VEDA. So n later on, we won't have to do it. We can do the regular method. But for right now, you have to do this. Go to, go to install. Uh, go to your download folder, SD card download. And you're gonna go ahead and choose carbon. Clear. And that will flash. All right? And then go back home. When that's done, um, done installing, you're gonna go here and hit the Open G apps. All right, I can actually do it. Do that. So this will actually flash over my um, current setup. So this won't actually delete data. It's just writing over. So this is per perfectly safe. My phone should still boot. Um, and when that's done, we're going to flash uh, the second the the G apps. And also, if you want Majisk, you should have also copied over. Um, here, I'll show you in a bit. Here, that's still going. Your download folder, uh, you can go ahead and download Majisk. Uh, I do. I, I recommend the Canary 2020.apk. I'll also I'll update the links on my forum for that. So go ahead and download that. And oh, sorry, that's not it. You need you need actually Majisk.zip file. I'll put that on the forum later. Uh, and you can go ahead and flash that after the ROM, after GApps, and then the Majisk zip file. This That will give you root. If you don't want root, you don't have to install it. All right? You don't actually have to root a custom ROM. You know, if, if you don't need it, you're you're better off not installing uh, Majisk. All right? So, installing custom ROM doesn't mean you actually have to root. Isn't that amazing? Uh, oh, there's the file. I have it on my phone. It's the Majisk. Uh, v20.4.zip, all right? So go ahead and install OpenGApps next. This is, if you don't install this, you won't get Play Store. I got these people like installing ROMs, they forgot to install uh, op OpenGApps or GApps, and they're like, Max, my phone, I can't install any apps. Yeah, that's, that's why. <laughs> the Pico is, I like the Pico, use the Pico because it takes up very, very small space. Uh, and you can install all the other Google apps once you have Play Store. So you, you all you really need is a Pico. Just you need a um, your own Play Store. Um, so when that's done, you're gonna hit Home, install. If you need root, you're gonna have to install Majus v20.4. Did, but I don't need it. I already installed it. Um, so reboot system, and you should boot to a welcome screen, and you should be good to go. And that's pretty much how you install the Carbon ROM on the OnePlus 8 Pro. Um, this should be similar for OnePlus 8, pretty much the same, just using different twerp and different ROM file. And if you see this logo, you're, you're good to go. And um, yeah, don't forget to donate to uh, the developer here. I'll put the link at the end of my uh, forum thread uh, for this. Eh. And boom shakalaka. See, I didn't lose data. I actually installed over it. So that's a way you can actually, if you mess up something, you can actually just install the ROM and G apps over without deleting data. And then, you know, your phone can work great. I don't know. <laughs> when you're updating, you can also do that when you update. But I actually don't recommend updating ROMs because it's better to find a ROM that works because with updates, sometimes other things can break. Um, so I actually usually stay with the ROM uh, that I find working well. I don't actually update. I usually just move on to another ROM. And that's why I leave the original version I use on my own servers. Um, so you can down, you can try the same versions because if if people, uh, the developers start updating and it has different features or it, you know, sometimes things break, then, you know, people get the wrong idea. Why did, you know, Max make me download this and it's not working, you know? And it's, it's like the same thing. I make a root tutorial for Samsung for Android 9. Um, like I, I think on the Galaxy Note 8 and then they blocked the root method and then people are following my tutorial like it's not working <sighs> You know as, as somebody I'm, I'm spending so much time making these tutorials and made it a flawless tutorial And that happens to me and I'm just like oh, I'm just I'm not gonna remake a tutorial every time Samsung changed something That's another reason. I'm just not doing Samsung too much lately, but anyway um, you should have Carbon ROM installed, uh, Play Store installed, um, try it out, let me know what you think. And I'll probably go try some other ROMs. I don't know if the Pixel um, Experience ROM is available, but this is a really good ROM. I really like it. Um, so yeah, try it and let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one.